guys, welcome back. General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day, and we are about to continue our impossible single player challenge using the wizards. So for anyone that's new to the channel, the rules are very, very simple. We have an army of 60 wizards. We have five heal spells, one haste spell, and three heroes. All we need to do is see how many of these single player maps we can destroy in 10 minutes, guys. So we do have the stopwatch ready to go. Remember, we are only allowed to use the 60 wizards. We are only allowed to use the heroes once, and we only have five heal spells. So stay tuned, that will be coming up in a few moments time. Just before we do get into the episode, we have two massive announcements to make. The first one, I do have a second gaming channel, guys. It is a second backup channel, just in case anything ever happens to this one. So it is the first link in the description box down below. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers on that channel. So please make sure you take a few seconds out of your time to go over there and subscribe. The first video will be uploaded on that channel on Friday, guys. So make sure you go and subscribe. The second announcement, and this is for everyone that asks me about my giveaways. Our giveaways on this channel happen every single Sunday. Every single Sunday, we give away $100, which is the equivalent to 14,000 gems. Now, this is for iTunes, Android, and PayPal. In order to enter it, it's very, very simple, guys. All you have to do is leave a like on this video to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and, of course, the winners. And enter the completely free raffle link in the description box. Every single single person has the exact same chance of winning. So now that we got all of that out of the way guys, we are about to get ourselves into this challenge. So as I said, I've got the stopwatch ready, the 60 wizards, the heroes and the heal spells are locked and loaded guys in 3, 2, 1, go! So we've just started the stopwatch, let's see how many of these single player maps we can destroy in 10 minutes using a wizard army. This is going to be absolutely awesome, so we're only going to use one on the first map. Harry Potter's about to take out the cannon, already gone down, and now he's going to head off towards the town hall. So go down below into that comment section, guys, and take a random guess. How many of these maps are the wizards going to be able to take down in 10 minutes? I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say, I reckon we can destroy 15. I'm going to say 15. How many do you think? So we're making our way onto number two already. Here we go, going to drop down the first Harry Potter. Once again, we are only going to be using one wizard inside of this map. Should be able to take down all of the buildings pretty damn quickly. He's already taken down the Goblin Hut in a single shot. The Town Hall also falls in two shots, guys. And there we go. Mr. Potter takes down the second map. So here we go, guys, making our way into map number three. So don't forget to go into that comment section and take your guess. I honestly think, I think we're going to be able to do 15. So we're going to use two wizards this time, guys. Here we go, just to make the actual, the gameplay a little bit quicker and ensure that we can get as high as possible in as little time as we can. So Mr. Potter is about to one-shot the Goblin Heart once again, and there it goes. Three maps down already. This is pretty damn quick for the Wizards. Definitely one of the strongest troops inside of the game in terms of attack, guys. So we're making our way onto the Rocky Fort, not wasting any time. And there are, once again, two cannons inside of here. So we're going to use two more Wizards. Don't forget, we did try the Hog Riders last time, and they reached map number 22. But the Hog Riders cost five troop spaces each, whereas the Wizards only cost four. So we do have more Wizards. So they've made their way onto the town hall. One is getting targeted by the cannon, but not really doing any uh, significant amount of damage. The wizards are going to take out that goblin hut. One shot the goblin hut, two shot the cannon, and finish up map number four. So there we go, map number four has just been restarted, and we can already make our way onto map number five. Damn, this is quick. We are currently one minute and 59 seconds into the actual challenge. So we're making our way onto the goblin gauntlet. We're going to drop down two wizards. Just two should be enough to wipe out the base once again. Hopefully it won't take too long. Damn, why have they gone for that? We're going to send in a third wizard, guys, because we do need to keep the ball rolling. We do not want to actually uh, waste time and end up having like 20 wizards left alive at the end of the challenge. We are literally ending this as soon as it hits 10 minutes. So there, there goes map number five. Still pretty damn quick. Let's go straight onto map number six. So we're already onto the cannonball run. Here we go, guys. Can we triple star it pretty damn quickly? Going to drop down three Harry Potters inside of this one. This is going pretty damn good. We've still got 48 wizards left. The three heroes, five heal spells. We are approaching the three minute mark in about 15 seconds time. So we still have well over seven minutes to execute and destroy another 10 to 12 maps. Hopefully, as I said, we can get at least to map number 15. So the Town Hall now has a much larger amount of HP though. But there we go. The Cannibal Run has been destroyed. Making our way onto map number 7. 
Oh damn, I didn't mean to do that guys. That was an accident. So we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna stop now We're just gonna keep this going here we go. So we just destroyed the cannonball and now we are going on to two smoking barrels So this is your chance. Do you want to change your mind? Do you think the wizards are gonna go further or do you think they're gonna get destroyed at an earlier level than you guessed? I'm still gonna stick with 15. I'm kind of feeling 15 so we're three and a half minutes into the challenge, guys. Both wizards working on the town hall, which is absolutely awesome. Now they're going to take out these goblin huts in one shot once again. Still one showing the goblin huts, but damn. Look at them. They've decided to uh, switch sides there. Harry Potter's about to take out the last goblin hut. There it goes. And the two smoking barrels has been smoked. So we just defeated the two smoking barrels and now we are making our way down. Why does it put me all the way back at the top? We're back onto the gold rush, which I think is actually map number eight. So we're going to drop down three wizards inside of this one. We do require three wizards just to make sure, as I said, that they can clean up this map pretty damn quickly. Now we still have 43 wizards left. Four minutes and nine seconds gone on the clock. So we will be approaching the halfway point in a few moments time. You know what? We're going to use a fourth wizard, guys, just to make sure that we can take out that cannon and keep this ball rolling because we are already onto map number nine once that goes down. There we go. We're already making our way onto map number nine. Here we go, guys. Not going to waste any time. So we just defeated the gold rush and now we are making our way onto the uh, the line. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's see what this has got for us. So it's got a, it's got a mortar. And it's got two cannons. Once again, we're going to use a wizard. We're going to use two more wizards on the cannons. And there we go. This base has been destroyed in seconds. In fact, this was one of the quickest. Damn. This base got ripped apart. So we still have a few little big bombs going off. Quite a few little big bombs. Big bombs? A few little mini bombs going off. The town hall has just gone down though. The goblin hut still getting one-shotted by those wizards. And there we go, guys. The line has been taken out. So here it is, we're making our way onto the Rat Valley, 5 minutes and 11 seconds into the challenge. We're going to drop down two wizards inside of here. Hopefully we can take this out pretty quickly. You know what, we're going to have to go in with three guys. The wizard at the top, Mr. Potter, is an absolute beast and just took out two cannons on his own. But the, uh, the third Harry Potter is going to take out the town all nice and quick for us. Still have 36 wizards remaining. There goes the elixir storage, guys. And we have defeated the Rat Valley. I literally think that that was the quickest one so far. Went down in, in a few seconds. I don't even know how long it was. But we are making our way onto the brute force. I'm not sure what map this is. We will uh, we'll actually count the maps at the end. We're going to send in the first hero, guys. There goes the king. Going to use a couple of wizards now as well. Going to rage up the king just to make sure that we can take down as many of these buildings as possible. We are almost six minutes into the challenge. The king is making his way into the center of the base. He's destroyed so many buildings already. Barbarian's about to take out the cannons. The king is going psychotic in the center. And there goes the final barbarian hut, guys. Brute force was taken down in seconds, but we no longer have the king's ability. So we are making our way onto the next map, guys. What are we going on to? Gobbo Town. I think this is map 12, maybe map 13. So this time, we are going to drop down a couple of Harry Potters there. Two over there. And we're also going to use the Grand Warden. Here we go. Still got 28 wizards left and the heal spells, of course, guys. First heal spell going to go in on those Harry Potters there just to make sure that they can stay alive. We want to keep these Harry Potters. Oh, no! I just double dropped the heal spell. What a complete accident. Going to throw in the haste spell now to make sure they can move through the base a little bit quicker. Where's the Grand Warden? We'll just use his ability for the, uh, you know, just the random point of doing it. So the Harry Potters have made their way into the center of the base. We're going to need another heal spell to keep these Mr. Potters alive. Damn. We've been wrecked. Did this, uh, this Gobbo Town, definitely the hardest one so far. It's destroyed my wizards. Wow. So we're actually going to have to use another wizard, another two wizards actually, to make sure that we can take down this cannon without it affecting us too much. So there we go, the, uh, the cannon's about to get taken down. Now we are 7 minutes and 15 seconds into this challenge, meaning we only have 2.5 minutes left pretty much remaining. So we're going to have to start to speed up a little bit now, guys. We just defeated the Gobbo Town. Where are we going on to next? We're going to do M is for Mortar. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this base. So we're going to use the Queen this time. Get things moving pretty damn quickly. Send in a couple of wizards up there at the top. Let's send in two more. So now we have uh, we have 20 wizards remaining. We've used every single one of our heroes now. The Queen's ability about to be used. There we go. M is for mortar. Shouldn't be alive for too long. Come on, wizards. Take out as much of it as you can. So we're currently 7 minutes and 52 seconds into the challenge. The wizards have made it into the center of the base. Not going too bad at all, guys. Are we closing in on map 15? That is the question. How close are we to your guess? Are we on your guess right now? The wizards just annihilated M is for mortar.
So we're going straight on to the next map, guys. What comes after M is for Morta. Where are we? Where are we? There we go. We're going to do the Watchtower. Let's get the Watchtower. Then we will go back and do the Mega Blaster. So we're going to drop in about five Harry Potters there. We're going to drop down a heal spell to make sure that they can stay alive. But that is the final spell. Drop down now. And all we have left is a couple of Harry Potters. So we got 15 left. We're going to use two on this Archer Tower here to see if we can take it out without it doing too much damage. Come on, Mr. Potter. There we go. The Archers. Uh, sorry, not the Archers. These Wizards are absolutely beautiful. They literally so damn powerful once they, are, once they have the Hill Spell on them. No one can take them out. So the Gold Storage has fallen. And now we can go back and take out the Mind Blaster. So we're currently 8 minutes and 53 seconds into this challenge. Where is the Mind Blaster, guys? Sorry, the Mega Blaster. Here we go. Going to take out the Mega Blaster. Oh, damn. This is the map. This is the hard map. So we're going to have to drop about six or seven wizards there. In fact, we may need more. Go, Harry's quick. Take out that cannon. We only have 52 seconds remaining. Come on, Harry's. No. No. Wow. So many little bombs going off, guys. So many little bombs. We're going to use an extra wizard. You know what? We're going to have to call in more backup. I have no idea how many maps we have destroyed. We will count them at the end, guys. But we are going to be able to do one more map. But we only have two Harry Potters left, so it's going to be impossible to win. There we go, we just defeated the Mega Blaster. So we are 9 minutes and 37 seconds into the challenge, only 23 seconds remaining, and this is the final map, guys. The immovable object, and it looks like we are going to get slaughtered. You know what? We, we had a great run, guys. That's uh, The challenge has 10 seconds remaining. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, yep. Harry's, you've done a great job, my friends, but you know what? You know what? In all honesty, we, it cost us 60 wizards, but we still destroyed loads of these goblin maps. So let's end that there, guys. Let's see how many we actually defeated. So let's give a quick count, guys. We've done the payback. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not bad. 12, 13, 14, 14. Did we do the watchtower? Yeah, we did. 15. Wow. We got 15. I'm sure we've done the Watchtower. Let's just scout it to see what it looks like. Did we do the Watchtower? Yeah, we've done the Watchtower, guys. So we defeated 15 bases, which means, I guess correctly. So there it is. That is going to be the end of this episode. Now, don't forget to go down into that comment section and let me know what other troop you would love to see try this challenge. We can change it up a little bit, guys. Maybe in increase or even decrease the, uh, the stopwatch time or maybe do a few different things with it. So let me know down below what you would love to see. Don't forget to enter the completely free raffle giveaway. Leave a like if you have enjoyed the episode. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you in a few hours time for another one. Have a great day. Peace out.